All right, we were talking about this Star Jones book, Fezzi. Now, I know you're not a big reader, but I do think Shine would be the way for you. Yeah, because it's kind of, it's like autobiographical. What is that? That's a word. No, it isn't. Autobiographical? There you go. Closer. And it's also kind of a self-help book because it talks about her weight issues as well as finally finding the right man in Al Reynolds. Yeah, she teaches the rest of us on how to get a man. Yeah, I mean, some of the things that are included in her book, she talks about Al's passion. She says, my man, he's passionate, passionate about textures. He loves the feel of cashmere. He loves the feel of balls. So that's an odd little thing there that he has. She should just actually call this how to rope in a gay man. So she also talked about when they first started having relations, how mm. he wore his T-shirt to bed. This is after they got married, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, because they were celibate for a long time. They were what? Celibate. Uh, celibate. Celibate. Yeah. <laughs> for a long time. For like probably like six months of their relationship. And I'm sure he hoped even longer. So they wanted to wait till after they were married. Yeah. So that was a big thing in their marriage plans. And even their pastor, they went to their pastor to talk about it. And, of course, the pastor backed him up on this. Right. He had to ask the pastor, hey, is it okay to to tape a picture of Brad Pitt to the back of her head, nail her in the ass, and pretend it's a guy? Star also in Shine talks about how they would use dancing as an outlet. Since they couldn't have sex together, right. they would dance. And that would be their outlet to burn off some steam. And they would also read poetry to each other. Sure. So the- fat girl, fat girl, you so crazy. So it seems like a really interesting book. I just, you know, I just can't stand to pick up an actual physical book and read it. All right, let me just play one short clip here for you, Fez. Just play one short clip and see if you like. This is from Star Jones's new book, Shine. Now, that's piqued my interest. This may be a book we're checking out. It's Pussy Noises for uh, an hour and a half, just Star Jones Pussy Noises. See, now I would have to get the book on tape because I wouldn't even know what they were spelling if they tried to write that out. All right, so uh, we do have a little bit of this. And I guess she does her own book on tape. Oh, yeah, a lot of authors will do that with their uh, biographies. They'll read it themselves because they know what they were feeling at that moment that they were writing about. Yeah, and exactly. I mean, that's who we want to hear. That's the voice that we would hear in our heads if we were reading. So uh, I haven't listened to this, though, Fez, so we'll uh, we'll just play the tape out, and then we'll talk after. This Do we have to set this up in any way? Do we know what it's about? Or I know this is, I think this is right when she met Al, this chat. Chapter from Shine by Star Jones Reynolds. All right, so it's Star Jones uh, Reynolds. Uh, the book is called Shine. You can pick it up at any bookstore, Amazon.com. We're going to listen to a segment of the audio book. Here's Star Jones and Shine. Shine by Star Jones Reynolds. Chapter 12. I met me a man. There I was at a party. St- sticking out to a buffet table waiting for more of those shrimps on a cracker. See, those were the days before I had my stomach stapling done. In those days, shrimps were the most important thing in my life. And then it happened. Just as I was sneaking a cheesecake into my pocketbook, I heard a voice. He said, Do I know you? I said, Unless you're bringing more shrimp, no, you don't, honey. The voice said, yes, I know you. You're Rosie Greer. You play for the Rams. At that point, I was ready to grab the brass knucks I keep under my wig and start throwing down. But then my eyes met the most beautiful man I had ever seen. He looked like Alfred Wooder with a mustache. I told him, my name is Miss Star Jones from television's The View, and that I know Barbara Walters personally. He told me his name was Al Reynolds, and then asked me if he could get me a drink. I said, I have my usual Al Reynolds, turkey gravy straight up. He brought $20 for me for the drinks, and I knew I was in love. For the first time, I was thinking about something else other than shrimp. 
All right, that's a little segment of Shine by Star Jones. It's the Ron and Fez uh, book club, Fezzy. And you know what? It was interesting for me. It brought out a lot of things in me, too. You know, when you're looking for that special person and, you know, you spend all this time looking, when do you find them? When you least expect it. Exactly. Star Jones, according to this chapter, chapter 12, I met it's me a man. Uh, she wasn't looking for a guy. She wasn't even, you know, in the market at that point. And yet it was like she let the universe know. I don't know whether this is just me reading my own stuff into it, but it seems like once you put that out there in the universe, the universe answers and kind of sets you up, you know, just when you think you're having some shrimps. Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's how fate works. If that buffet table had never run out of shrimp, yeah. she never would have met Al Reynolds. Right. Now, does she call him killer, or is that just my imagination? Am I jumping ahead in what I've read? I think that is her pet name for Al Reynolds. Yeah. All right, so there you go. It's Shine, and it's a kind of a self-help book, Fezzi. And is there a time that the nation needs it more, America? Oh, totally needs it right now. And yeah. that's Star Jones telling her own story. Right. A professional woman probably felt she never had time right. for a relationship, and yet somehow found herself madly in love. But you know, you say she's telling her story, Fez. Mm hmm Or is she telling mine, yours, and all of ours? Is it just her version of... Of the American story. It's all love, just the names change, Ronnie. Wow, uh, I really feel, I know it seems like a hurry. I feel like hopping into some more. You ever have one of those books you just can't stop reading, or in this case, listening to? Sure, when you just can't put them down. It's the uh, Ron and Fez uh, book club. We're listening uh, to the audio version of Shine, Star uh, Jones Reynolds' brand new book. And do you see where I'm sitting, Fez? Mm -hmm. End of my seat. Right. I'm right here on the edge, and I just can't wait to get into this a little more. Yeah, because I guess as the chapters go along, she talks more about her relationship with Al Killer Reynolds. Right. And also, you know, when they finally made that decision to be celibate with each other. Right. Yeah. I wish I had it all to do over again, and I... You know, when I hear the celibate stuff and how happy people are, it makes me feel like date rape was just the wrong choice. I wish I had a chance to do it over again. That's this book, Shine, by Star Jones Reynolds. It's all about choices, I guess. Right. All right, well, let's uh, listen to some more Star Jones Reynolds and more of Shine. Shine, by Star Jones Reynolds. Chapter 16, Celibacy. It's been two months since Al, I call him Killer, and I got engaged. And we have remained true to Al's plan for us to be celibates till we are married. Al says not having sex will prove the strength of our relationship, and he's willing to abstain even after the wedding to show how much he loves me. He says he loves me so much, he may never have sex with me. I told him I don't know if I can wait much longer, and he explained to me that it's like when I try to eat a cake before it's done baking. It's just not as good. Why can't more men be like my Al Reynolds and explain things through pastry metaphors? One night, I did try to tempt Al. He came home from his bi-weekly steam bath with the boys, and there I was waiting for him, completely naked wearing nothing but the crumbs from a bag of Ruffles potato chips. I am proud to say that Al did not give in to temptation. In fact, the idea of having sex with me made him throw up right there in the living room. And he kept dry heaving until I put some clothes on. He's a good man, my Al Reynolds. He is so strong, and yet I am so horny. I hope I can last. I'm ready to do myself with a cedar post. It's Shine, the brand new uh, book on tape by Star Jones Reynolds. Fez, again, I can't get enough of it. I'm sitting here wondering to myself, uh, will Al Reynolds ever uh, stop throwing up? I don't see it happening. At this point, I see after what he's been through, he's going to throw up forever. If they do a made-for-TV movie of this, it's going to be a ratings buster. I'll tell you what, it'll be through the roof. 
You know, and it's so ironic. We never even heard the uh, term cedar post to the other day, and now it pops up in this Star Jones book. That's weird. Twice in under a week. Yeah. Uh, very, very uh, good stuff there. It's a, it's, it's really moving me. Well, what I appreciate is Star Jones Reynolds being so open with everything. Just right. really, there's no barriers here. She wants her audience, her reader, yeah. to just know exactly what was going on. The very personal effects of her relationship. Well, she's got me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Fez? It's like I'm there, seeing and hearing the dry heaving. Yeah, nothing beats honesty, I guess, in a book. No, it doesn't. Now, Earl, as somebody from the community, what's this uh, mean for you? Is there finally someone now that can replace uh, MLK, and is it Star Jones? Um, She's on her way. She's showing a lot of constraint, a lot of control, a lot uh -huh. of self-control. Do you wish we had more shines? Well, I don't know. To me, this seems like way, there's but... more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's she could be the new model for today's young black. Well, I don't know about young, but black woman. Yeah, she really is. Yeah, we are hearing how she got how Star got her groove back. Yeah, yeah, she did get her groove back, didn't she? Uh, I don't want to spend the whole show on this, but uh, and I really thought we were only going to do one segment, but I actually. Uh, I need to hear a little more. Well, we actually have another chapter here as the wedding day gets closer and closer. Right. Uh, Star Jones got a brand new book out that's really... I mean, I think I was ready for a romance bio. I'm mm -hmm. not sure, Fez. Well, I'm glad we're finally getting to hear, hear the whole story. Right. Because Star Jones, remember, Ronnie, she took a lot of heat leading up to that wedding because everything was being sponsored by Payless Shoes and stuff like that. Right. So I'm I'm glad we're getting to hear it from her side. Well, I don't know. When I saw Denny's on the back of her wedding dress, I thought it went too far. But then again, now I'm I'm finding out everything. The book is Shine. The author is Star Jones Reynolds. Here's a little more on the books on tape. Shine by Star Jones Reynolds, Chapter Twenty Three, Two Days and Counting. It's two days before my big wedding, when I become Mrs. Star Jones Reynolds, and Al becomes Mr. Al Reynolds Jones. And that Joy Behar better not start any trouble on my big day, or I will sit on her neck until spinal fluid squeezes out. I hate her. There is some good news. Taco Bell has agreed to help sponsor my wedding. So instead of bouquets, my bridesmaids will all be carrying gorditas down the aisle. Last night was Al's bachelor party. I warned him, no women killer. And he said, I got nothing to worry about. To prove it, I was spying on him. And he was right. There wasn't a woman within miles of his party. Not even waitresses. It was all shirtless men serving drinks. It must have been hot in there. I was so proud of my Al, too. He works with different youth groups and invited them to his party. There was young Puerto Rican boys, young Filipino boys, and a young brother who couldn't even afford swim trunks for the hot tub. Al said it didn't matter, he should jump in anyway. Later, I saw Al give a busboy a $100 tip and told her to meet him in his hotel room. He is so generous. And must have a lot of dirty dishes, too. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to head home, grab a six-foot hoagie, and head off to bed. Dreaming of my wedding day. Wow. Amazing stuff. That's from Shine. Star Jones Reynolds. Fez, uh, did you think it would be this gripping? No, I had no idea. You, because you you hear brides talk about their weddings and it's blah blah blah. Right. But going inside this event, right, getting an insider's view, fascinating. Geraldine has run, uh, wrote a fantastic book, and we got to give her all the credit in the world. Wait a minute, Star yeah. Jones. Star uh, Jones. Yeah. Yeah, I got those two. Uh, yeah, two, Star two. Jones wrote this one. Shine. Yeah. Shine. Which uh, I never expected that to be the name of a book. Why don't you just call it Coon while she's at it? <laughs> Picking any. 
It just doesn't make sense that she would come up with that name. Burrhead. 